I'm joined by a consultant oncologist, Carol Sikora now. Good evening to you, Carol. Good evening. I mean, Hi. this really is shocking news. So many people now are affected uh, by cancer. It's just, I mean, it is so, I mean, Carol, I'm just sharing. I'm, I'm you know, inundated with imagery of loved ones uh, that have survived cancer. Sadly, some of them haven't. Um, but the cancer, you know, diagnosis now, science and medicine, et cetera, has evolved so much more now, hasn't it? It has. And it, it's part of we're all living longer and cancer is predominantly a disease of older people. But as you can see with Kate, she's not an old woman. She's 42. So it does affect young people. Uh, cancer Research UK calculated it affects one in two of us now. And, you know, I've been a consultant for over 40 years and I've never seen so many people get cancer as now. It's, it's just part of the aging process and part of the fact that our, our lifestyle is not the greatest, I guess. Indeed. And I'm, this is really tough because, um, I mean, you know, it's very clear here that um, the princess wants to res have her privacy respected. We're not going to find out about the type um, of cancer, the stage of cancer or anything like that. But one of the things uh, that Princess Catherine did say in the video, and again, if you've missed it, don't worry, I shall replay it again. Um, she explains that she had the surgery. Um, apparently everything went well. Her words was that it was successful. But then tests after, after the operation found that cancer had been present. Um, she was therefore advised to undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy. Now, can you just explain to my viewers, uh, myself as well, actually, what that actually is? What is preventative uh, chemotherapy? The medical term is adjuvant chemotherapy. It's thrown in after surgery, even though there may be no cancer detected because there are certain risk factors. Modern oncology, the treatment of cancer, involves assessing the risk of developing a recurrence. And if the risk is high, we recommend adjuvant chemotherapy, sometimes adjuvant radiotherapy, not so much for colon cancer, but for other areas in the body. We, so Mrs. Jones and Mrs. Smith have the same cancer, but they may get totally different aftercare with treatment. And that's good because it means we're personalizing the treatment. And one of the biggest growth areas in cancer is using molecular analysis and al analyzing DNA sequences in the cancer and in the normal cells to tailor the treatment to the individual patient. And that will make cancer treatment uh, not wasteful. In other words, no point in having chemotherapy if you're going to get no benefit, which is what we did at the, when I started. Now we only give it when we think a, a good benefit. The risk of recurrence is high, and therefore giving chemotherapy makes sense. And the outcomes are much better using this tailored type of treatment. Yeah, and I mean, you speak of outcomes, uh, Carol. We just touched upon it as well earlier on in our conversation, but so many people um, are getting in touch with me, telling me their stories about their loved ones who were diagnosed with awful um, advanced stage cancers. And yet I've just... I've just um, uh, told the story of a, a viewer just then who had terminal cancer and she fought it and she lives... She's 56, actually. She was just, uh, just telling me on Tuesday next week. Yes. I, I mean, you know, I think what's great about Kate, the princess, is she's a, a good role model. She speaks well, she understands people, and a lot of people are very lonely when they get cancer. They don't know who to turn to. And families help, uh, friends help, obviously staff, nurses, doctors, all try and do their best. But it is a lonely journey for many people. You're on your own. And uh, I think that it's so nice to see that the video that she made. It's just really genuine from the heart. I know it's scripted. There's genuineness in that script. 